Still, I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dracul's. Indeed, the Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway, I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Elisa. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. Huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Oh, think nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. <sighs> well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of... Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're... Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. Just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see.
<gasps> Is something on your mind, Elise? Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Like your brother, perhaps? Please, your highness. Hmm, I just thought I saw someone I recognized. But it couldn't possibly have been him. I can't imagine what would bring him to the capital this early in the morning. Someone you recognized? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. <laughs> Please! <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now, I'm only teasing. There's no need to sulk. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But that's an adult lingerie brand. <laughs> Please excuse us, Captain Claire. I'm sorry. I hope I haven't sullied your ears with our scandalous conversation. <laughs> Not at all, Your Highness. I came to inform you that the special train to the Imperial Villa will be arriving shortly. I look forward to accompanying you today. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to have you with us. Certainly.
for that. What? No way. Sharon? before us ah uh, the power of my love for you allows me to do the impossible my lady and as you'll see I've prepared packed lunches for all of you that far surpass this morning's offerings I do hope you'll enjoy them um thanks um we really appreciate you going to all the trouble to make these for us true that said I'm really curious how you got here before us. It seems that the Reinford family's maid enjoys a little amusement at the expense of her employer. I imagine you transferred to an airship in the capital. Ah. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? You can cut the time from Heimdall to Ruhr in half if you travel by airship, I think. <laughs> you got me. I took advantage of the opportunity to borrow the airship's kitchen so I could make your lunches as well. They're quite fresh, so take a moment to savor the taste. <laughs> well, thank you. We really do appreciate all you're doing for us. Honestly, I knew you had to be up to something. You're not planning on coming all the way to the Nord Highlands with us now, are you? I'd love to, but unfortunately, I have some other business I must attend to. I may not be able to return to Trista for a while, either. Other business? Sharon will be assisting me with my work. Hello, Elisa. Ah, oh, you all must be members of Class 7. I'm Elisa's mother, Irina, also the chairman of the Reinford Group. It's a pleasure to meet you. The, the pleasure is ours. I'm Reen, Reen Schwarzer. Pleased to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. Gaius Warzel. Glad to make your acquaintance. Yusis Alborea pleasure. I'm glad you're all managing to get along with my obstinate daughter. I wish I could stay a while, but unfortunately I have work that can't wait. Come along, Sharon. As you wish, Madam Chairman. What? S seriously You show up like this and that's all you have to say? It's always work with you, isn't it? You probably didn't even notice I left home until I was already gone. Now it's just, hello, Elisa, and that's it? My lady. You can live your life however you see fit. I have no intention of forcing the Reinford group on you. Even if you decide to follow a certain someone's path and cast aside all sense of responsibility, it's your choice to make. <clears throat> Besides, I still manage to keep myself informed of the general goings-on in your academic life. In the monthly reports I receive from the Academy. What? I knew Sharon would relay back information about me, but reports from the Academy itself? Oh, you must not have known. In addition to my other responsibilities, I also sit on the Academy's Board of Directors. <gasps> oh my! That means... Just like Rufus. It does appear that way. I'd certainly deem the chairman of the Reinford Group a canny choice as a member of the board. Hmm. The Reinford Group is heavily involved in the development of the Orbal staff, as well as your Arcus. I must say, I'm quite pleased with the reports I've received on your usage of both. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of this month's field study as well. Do give me some good reading, won't you? Please excuse us, my lady. Take care during the rest of your journey. Elisa? You alright?
worlds apart from the bustle of the city. It really is! I feel like I'm on with the wind! Indeed, but if you didn't go too fast, that would be great. I'm sure it will feel natural in time. No doubt the riding club would be fuming with envy if they could see us now. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> anyway, my home settlement is due northeast of here. Hopefully we'll be able to reach it before sundown. 